Welcome to 15 things you need if you're staying in a hostel, especially if you're a girl. Let's get into it. Hey, I'm Alexa and I've been traveling the world for the past 10 years full time. I've stayed in hostels in Thailand, in Mexico, in Bolivia, in Japan, in... I've stayed in a lot of hostels. The must have things you need in a hostel. Pack these things before you go. Let's get into it. Number one, bring your own water bottle. There is nothing like the doom of sleeping on a top bunk and needing water in the middle of the night, especially after you've been drinking. Then you have to climb down the ladder and go find water like it's the Sahara and that's sometimes the most painful thing. So water bottle and make sure you fill it up before bed. Duh. Number two, flip flops for the shower. So when you travel around the world, you might, if you're not careful, get these little warts or fungus on the bottom of your feet. Think about it, you have strangers from all over the world with God knows what kind of hygiene using the same shower. People peeing in the shower, people having sex in the shower, hair in the shower. Ugh, don't put your feet on that. Bring flip flops. I recommend bringing kind of like a thin pair of flip flops to wear in the shower and then having those as like your designated flower. Flower flops, shower flops. Designated shower flops. Number three, you need earplugs. You need earplugs because when you're in a hostel, you're not always gonna get the most quiet sleep. Pro tip when you're looking at reviews for a hostel, see if people have mentioned whether it's noisy or not. Sometimes the best hostels happen to be party hostels and they can be a little bit noisy. You have people coming in and out in the middle of the night. So get some earplugs um, and that'll also help you if your next door neighbor is having sex in the bed, it happens. Number four, get some noise canceling headphones or ear pods because there are some days that you don't wanna go exploring, you kinda of just wanna stay in your hostel bed and watch Netflix and that's okay. So I have these little Xiaomi ones and noise canceling. Done. I like those. Number five, I like to bring things that I can share with other girls. You share something and you make a friend. And what do girls love more than anything? Makeup remover wipes. Just open your little wipe and say, who wants a wipe, who wants a wipe? And when they hear that noise, they're gonna know what it is. It's gonna be like, like cats coming when cat food is open. Also, functional. Um, you need these because you're gonna be sharing a bathroom with a bunch of people and you'll wanna take care of your makeup quickly in bed. Okay, since we are on the subject of beauty, when I'm in hostels, I don't spend as much time on my beauty routine because the showers are not my favorite. So dry shampoo is your friend. Bring a dry shampoo for sure. Number seven is a little bit weird, but it doesn't take up much room in your bag at all, but it provides a lot of peace of mind. So I recommend traveling with a door stopper. And it's really strange, but when you're traveling as a girl in off the beaten path areas of the world, where maybe you're the only one at the hostel, or maybe you are not feeling comfortable with the reception or something like this, when you go to sleep at night, pop that door stopper in the door and sleep safe and soundly. If anyone wants to come in, they're gonna have to make a big fuss. Obviously don't put this on the door if you are staying with a bunch of people in a hostel and you're like locking them out. But this is for emergencies. And even if you're not in a dorm, if you're just in a private hostel or if you're in a small guest house, having this little extra sense of security is genius. Number eight, bring a backpack. Don't be that weirdo that goes to the hostel backpacking through Southeast Asia or Europe with a rolly suitcase. This is my choice. Osprey Farpoint 40 liter, that's all you need. It's empty now, but trust me, this can fit at least a month's worth of stuff. Number nine is a little mini hamper. Bring this hamper and keep your dirty clothes in it and that way you'll be organized in your backpack and you can hang it up. Dun, dun, dun. Number 10 is a shawl. You're probably already traveling with a shawl because buses get cold and airplanes get cold, but I like traveling with this because sometimes when you're in a dorm bed, you don't have a curtain to pull closed and so you don't have a lot of privacy. So there have been countless amount of times that I just bring my shawl out and I lay it over um, however I can to kind of give myself some privacy. Um, and then number 11, also can give you privacy, is a microfiber towel. 
Um, do not bring a thick and heavy towel. Not only do those take up a lot of room, but they take a long time to dry. But if you're doing hostels, you absolutely need a microfiber towel. Number 12, hostels can be disgusting. Bring some hand sanitizer, obviously. And number 13 is a super must, and this is bringing a little cable lock. And these cable locks are great because no one can cut them um, and break in. So you're gonna need this. Bring a couple, bring two, because they often at hostels will provide a locker for you, and they don't always provide a lock. Um, you can rent one, but have your own lock on the locker and then also have another one I like to lock my bag when I go out for a day trip So if I'm leaving my backpack at the hostel, I like to lock it number 14 is pack your hobby So maybe you play the ukulele. Maybe you play the harmonica Maybe you are a sketch artist. Maybe you're a photographer bring things and kind of bring them like a show-and-tell Don't be afraid. It's a good conversation starter sitting in the common area, having whatever your hobby is. Maybe you do oracle cards. Maybe you love to paint nails. It's almost like setting up your little shop at a farmer's market. Do that and it's a way for people to approach you and it's a way for you to connect with other girls, other people in general. Number 15 is the most important one and that is bring a deck of cards. The whole reason to stay at the hostel is to make friends, and it's so easy to sit down at a table and say, hey, I've got a deck of cards who wants to play. Usually hostels have these things, but sometimes they don't. So that is my top 15 things that you need to take when you're hostel hopping around the world. If you are hostel hopping in Southeast Asia, make sure you get one of my copies of the Solo Girls Travel Guide. We have them for Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Southeast Asia, Japan, Singapore, Bali. I feel like I'm forgetting one. I'm probably forgetting one. Anyways, these are the best travel guide books for women, so if you're gonna go hostel hopping, this is all of the adventures that I've had, ah, and it's amazing. Everyone should do this once in their life. And if you wanna learn how to travel and make money long-term, check out my academy, the Solo Girls Travel Academy, link down below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.